Uh, right now what we're looking at, this is our liquid cell and dry cell sample holder. Uh, this is uh, OF8C copper and it's nickel plated and this is your cell. Uh, comes in a couple different varieties but uh, we're just looking at how to install it to the cryostat and how to seal it. You see how it um, slides into this uh, so it's kind of a loose fit. So how we made it, it has like a little pinch pinch point. So all you got to do is just squeeze it a little bit. So we have enough force on it, it won't crack the, the glass. But it also will seat. You know, it won't fall out. Uh, if you're worried about it falling out, I recommend you put a little piece of mylar or Kapton tape around the perimeter. And that'll hold it in case it would slide out once it got cold. And then it's actually screwed in. This is a quarter 28 thread. And you could use uh, indium gasket, which we supply, and screw it into your Crestat. Alright, so now what we want to do is, uh, if you're going to use it for a liquid sample, uh, what we recommend, what works best for this application, is to use some Teflon tape on your thread. So we use a quarter inch wide. So you want to put a little bit of Teflon tape on the threads. I would say probably three, let's go with four, four wraps. Just run your fingers over it to seat it into the groove. And then replace, put your liquid in. Then what you want to do is screw this back on. You don't want to put too much Teflon on it because otherwise you won't be able to tighten it. So what you want to do is tighten this all the way. Like that. Reset it into your sample. Press it in. And you should be good to go. And that's how we use the liquid sample.